Good morning, everyone. Today is uh, Tuesday, November 3rd, and so we are in the 22nd Psalm today. It is a Messianic Psalm. I think you'll recognize that from the very beginning. Uh, psalm 22 is where I'll be reading from, so you can follow along, and then we'll pray together. My God, my God, <clears throat> why have you forsaken me? Why are you so far <clears throat> from saving me from the words of my groaning? Oh my God, I cry by day, but you do not answer, and by night, but I find no rest. Yet you are holy, enthroned on the praises of Israel. In you our fathers trusted, they trusted, and you delivered them. To you they cried and were rescued, and you they trusted and were not put to shame. <clears throat> but I am a worm and not a man, scorned by mankind and despised by the people. All who see me mock me, they make mouths at me, they wag their heads. He trusts in the Lord. <clears throat> Let him deliver him. Let him rescue him, for he delights in him. Yet you are he who took me from the womb. You made me trust you at my mother's breasts. On you was I cast from my birth and from my mother's womb. You have been my God. Be not far from me, for trouble is near and there is none to help. Many bulls encompass me, strong bulls of Bashan surround me. They open their mouths at me <clears throat> like a ravening and roaring lion. I am poured out like water and all my bones are out of joint. My heart is like wax, it is melted within my breast. My strength is dried up like a potsherd, and my tongue sticks to my jaw. You lay me in the dust of death, for dogs encompass me, a company of evildoers encircles me. They have pierced my hands and feet. I can count all my bones, they stare and gloat over me. They divide my garments among them, and for my clothing they cast lots. But you, O Lord, do not be far off. For, o, o you, my help, come quickly to my aid. Deliver my soul from the sword, my precious life from the power of the dog. Save me from the mouth of the lion. You have rescued me from the horns of the wild oxen. I will tell of your name to my brothers in the midst of the congregation. I will praise you. You who fear the Lord, praise him. All you offspring of Jacob, glorify him. And stand in awe of him, all you offspring of Israel. For he has not despised or abhorred the afflicted, the affliction of the afflicted, and he has not hidden his face from him, but has heard when he cried to him. For from you comes my praise in the great congregation, my vows I will perform before those who fear him. The afflicted shall eat and be satisfied, those who seek him shall praise the Lord. May your hearts live forever. All the ends of the earth shall remember and turn to the Lord, and all the families of the nation shall worship before you. For kingship belongs to the Lord, and he rules over the nations. All the prosperous of the earth eat and worship before him, shall bow all who go down to the dust, even the one who could not keep himself alive. Posterity shall serve him. It shall be told of the Lord to the coming generation. They shall come and proclaim his righteousness to a people yet unborn, that he has done it. Let's pray together. Father, we thank you today that kingship belongs to you. That Father, Jesus Christ reigns. He rules over the nations. You have given him the nations as his inheritance. And Father, we thank you today that... King Jesus is coming soon. We thank you, Lord, even on this election day in our nation, that we don't trust in earthly rulers and men or women, whoever, fills, whoever lives in the White House, whoever serves in Congress. Father, we don't trust in human beings. We trust in the King of Kings and the Lord of Lords. And so, Father, today we humble our hearts before you, uh, we exalt you, Father. We exalt King Jesus today. Lord, our desire is to give him preeminence, first place in all things. We thank you for the sacrifice that he made so that we could be called the children of God. We thank you, Father, for the love with which you loved us. 
and gave your Son, Jesus Christ, to be crucified for us. We thank you that Jesus willingly laid down his life for us, that he willingly surrendered himself to be nailed to a rugged tree, to a rugged cross, and to be crucified, mocked and scorned and beaten and ridiculed for our sin. He took the punishment that I deserve. He took the punishment that every one of us deserves. And we thank you today, Father, that we come to you in the glorious and matchless name of Jesus Christ, the conquering King, who not only died, was crucified for sins, but he triumphantly was raised from the dead, giving us victory over both sin and death for all who believe in him. And so today, Father, we come based on no merit of our own, based on no righteousness of our own, but only on the righteousness of King Jesus, who rules and reigns in our hearts. And we ask today, as we surrender to you, that he indeed would rule and reign in our lives as we walk step by step through this day. So, Father, we yield our hearts to you. We yield our lives to you. We want to be pleasing. We want to be found pleasing to you, Lord. And so, Father, we pray to that end that your Holy Spirit would fill us, enable us today to walk worthy of the gospel of Jesus Christ. And so, Father, help us to live as citizens of another kingdom, citizens of the kingdom of heaven. And so, Lord, I pray that you will help us to make that our aim to walk worthy of you, to walk worthy of Christ. And the only way we'll do that is to walk in the power of the Spirit of God, surrender to do your will. And so, Lord, let your will be done here on earth as it is in heaven. And so we pray today for the election process in our country, and we ask, Holy Father, for your perfect will to be accomplished through these elections, knowing that, Lord, you are working on the grand stage of this world among the nations to bring about your glory and to usher in the kingdom of Christ. And so, Father, we pray for King Jesus to come quickly. That's our heart's desire, Lord. And so we ask humbly, Father, today that you would have your will in your way. We pray for those in our church family and in our families who are sick and hurting, that, God, you would give grace to each one of them, that, Father, you would help them in these times of momentary afflictions of this life to suffer well and to embrace the sufferings of Christ. And so I pray today, we make it our prayer for their healing. We make it our prayer that their faith would be strong. And Lord, that they would be men and women who would shine the light of, God, of the gospel of Jesus and his glory among those who are serving them and caring for them and among their family members who are concerned for them. Would you bring the peace of Christ to bear upon each one of their hearts and the glory of Christ to bear on their witness? And so, Father, may many hearts be drawn to you today. Uh, may our hearts be drawn to you continuously throughout this day. And we pray for those who do not yet know Christ as their Savior, that, Lord, King Jesus would rule and reign in their hearts through repentance and faith in him. And so give us boldness today, Father. Give us courage to live for you in uh, this generation. And uh, Lord, may Jesus be high and lifted up. We love you, Lord, and we praise you. In Jesus' holy name we ask it. Amen. God bless you. Have a wonderful day.